blackness I ya. Aye. I who tell the truth, Mark Benscop, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benscop, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscop, straight up from the root. Mark Benscop, I who tell the truth. Mark Benscop, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benscop, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscop, straight up from the root. Mark Benz, 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 I do it for the love, him not do it for no money, straight up, him attack, educating everybody, big up my friends, and big up my family, turn on the radio, catch the vibes, it's integrity, straight up, Benz, Cap stands for unity, one people, one nation, one destiny, free up the truth in the air, even the blind can see, mm. the deaf can hear, the dumb can talk, the cripple can walk, boom, I who tell the truth, Mark Benz, Cap, defend the ghetto you. Mark Benscap, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscap, straight up from the root. Mark Benscap, I who tell the truth. Mark Benscap, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benscap, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscap, straight up from the root. Mark Benscap, we are figured around. Grab a seat and sit down. Pay attention. Education, liberation. We are fist and strong. Benscap, the pun. The radio lively up the program. Everybody call somebody and let them turn and tune and pon the radio and catch the boom song. We boom it up already. We have to boom it up again. Expose and reveal them. I who tell the truth. Mark Benscap, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benscap, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscap, straight up from the root. Mark Benscap, I who tell the truth. Mark Benscap, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benscap, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscap, straight up from the root. Mark Benscap, Benscap, I do it for the love, him not do it for no money. Straight up, him attack, educating everybody. Big up my friends and big up my family. Turn on the radio, catch the vibes, it's integrity. Straight up, Benscap stands for unity. One people, one nation. And one destiny, free up the truth in at the air, even the blind can see. Mm. The deaf can hear, the dumb can talk, the cripple can walk. Boom! I who tell the truth, Mark Benscap, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benscap, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscap, straight up from the root. Mark Benscap, I who tell the truth. Mark Benscap, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benscap, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscap, straight up from the root. Mark Benscap. Yeah, my name is Jasniti Kaldata, Francis C. Vietnam. And since 1965, I become a footer. And I always place my ex next to the cup. And what they are doing today, I can't take it. So I have no more vote to give to PPP anymore. I'm not going to vote anymore in the moon. If they have to lose by one vote, they're losing it by data. I have basement level vibes with another one, another one, straight up, blackness I ya. Aye. I who tell the truth, Mark Benscap, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benscap, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscap, straight up from the root. Mark Benscap, I who tell the truth. Mark Benscap, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benscap, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscap, straight up from the root. Mark Benz, Benz, I do it for the love, him not do it for no money, straight up, him attack, educating everybody, big up my friends, and big up my family, turn on the radio, catch the vibes, it's integrity, straight up, Benz, Cap stands for unity, one people, one nation, one destiny, free up the truth in the air, even the blind can see, mm. the deaf can hear, the dumb can talk, the cripple can walk, boom, I who tell the truth, Mark Benz, Cap, defend the ghetto youth, Mark Benscap, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscap, straight up from the root. Mark Benscap, I who tell the truth. Mark Benscap, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benscap, radio station is the fruit. Mark Benscap, straight up from the root. 
More trends, we are figured around. Grab a seat and sit down. Pay attention. Education, liberation. We are fist and strong. Benz cop the ponderage, your lively up the program. Everybody call somebody and let them turn and tune and ponderage you and catch the boom song. We boom it up already. We have to boom it up again. Expose and reveal them. I who tell the truth. Mark Benzcap, defend the ghetto youth. Mark Benzcap, radio station is the truth. Mark Benzcap. Hey fans, it's karaoke and oldies night this and every Thursday at Clock Twilight Sideline Dam, Buxton. Dance to the magical songs of yesteryear by popular DJs and Cam's Audio. Admission is free. Come out, let's make memories at Clock Twilight Sideline Dam, Buxton North. Sugar is three hundred dollar already. Flower, everything gone up. Everything just raising. You gotta get about forty thousand dollar for buy good ration. You gotta get three man now. A weekend man, a monthly man, and a and a um fortnight man. Yeah, my name is Jacinti Caldata Francis Vietnam, and since nineteen sixty five, I become a food. And I always place my ex next to the cup. And what they are doing today, I can't take it. So I have no more vote to give to PPP anymore. I'm not going to vote anymore in the moon. If they have to lose by one vote, they're losing it by data. Are we going to do a body man work right now? You ready? Fuck, let me go now. Pay no. Body work. Body work. Yeah, my name is Jasmine Caldata Francis Vietnam, and since 1965, I become a voter, and I always place my ex next to the cup. And what they are doing today, I can't take it. So I have no more vote to give to PPP anymore. I'm not going to vote anymore in the moon. If they have to lose by one vote, they're losing it by data. I have no. All right, hey, guess what? Let's begin to rock and roll right here on 107.1 FM. And no, I'm not broadcasting from the all-white boat ride, the all-white boat cruise. Uh, uh, hey, one thing about us Guyanese, no matter what the circumstances, no matter what the situation, no matter blockout or no blockout, eclipse or no eclipse, discrimination or no discrimination, we out there. Is that what they say? We out there, right? We out there. Good night. Good night to all of you guys and welcome to Straight Up. We are rocking and rolling tonight. All of you wonderful listeners, you wonderful listeners, especially those of you who believe, those of you who believe and respect democracy. I love that about all of you. It might be a couple of them, you know what I mean? But let's say, hey, let's take a look at this. Um, not the eclipse. This is Guyana eclipse. 
I am not, and let me make this clear, I am not knocking at these folks who put on their dandan and go out to have fun. Because in this life, you've got to find a way to enjoy yourselves, right? You've got to do it. Don't get me wrong. You've got to enjoy yourself. But there's time and place for everything. Let us call a protest tomorrow. And let us say we call a protest so that folks can go and register their concerns in front of GCOM, the Guyana Elections Commission. I can count on my fingers. About four persons are going to be out there. Rhonda Lane, Kadaki, and two other persons. Two. I can almost put everything that I have right now in my wallet. 39 cents. That none, none of these folks on this boat right going to any protest. They mean get time with nothing. They mean going in front of GPL. They mean going in front of GCOM. They mean going nowhere other than a boat ride. Boat ride. Overseas, Yankee, all white. Yo, man, what's happening? We got to, yo. And then on the boat, right? Hey, yo, Tony, I didn't see you in a while, G. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm okay. Where you at, Tony? Where you living now, man? I'm living all the way in Blackbush Boulder, man. I've been living in Blackbush Boulder all my life. <laughs> Good night to all of you. <laughs> Look, I know I probably got some friends went out there on this all white boat, right? You can't get them on no protest, you know. They ain't going nowhere. They've been protesting, and no one and two of them might be watching. They might, they might shame to say they were on that boat ride. Any one of you who was on that boat ride, feel free to say that you were on the boat ride as you prepare to share, not share the links, <laughs> share, share the link. Boat ride, people gotta have fun. Mark, why you don't rest yourself? I'm sure if you were in Guyana, you'd have been on the boat ride. Maybe, maybe I would have been on the boat right, but I would have been outside protesting to remind you guys to register to vote. I know all of we can't be the same. Some of we got to be in politics. Some of we got to do this. Some of we got, I know all of that. I know, I know. Don't get me wrong. I know, I know, right? How was your weekend, guys? Uh, talk to me, talk to me. How was your weekend? Roberto Gonzalez, Buenas Noches. Hope all is well. But hey, guess what? Guess what? Forget about the eclipse and all these things. We're going to get to the eclipse shortly. But here is something that caught my attention. Sorry, guys, I'm doing my fingers like that. Nothing. I'm not like that guy who went to Mexico for the first time. Or, you know, people now get little access to little money and they're traveling. It's okay. It's okay. Them and the sons. You guys know what I mean, my sons. Them and the sons traveling sons all right so guess what again again this lady making a mockery a mockery a mockery of herself a mockery mock mockery mockery of herself oh gosh i can't wait till elections are called and these vagabonds are voted out of office. Not to put in any other set of vagabonds, because you can't replace one vagabond with other vagabonds, you know. We need a good team, a good team. Now, Janice Booker, I see what you did there. You're smoking the place up, right? Smoky. I'm not calling anybody smoky. I'm repeating what Janice Booker just said. Smoky. All right. So apparently there was this uh, public accounts committee hearing and one a former public servant not a current public servant you know a former public servant sat in his living room or wherever in the bedroom wherever 
And apparently he had some button, and the button might probably be AP and UFC button. I don't know. But Gail Teixeira got vexed. She bumps rays. Got vexed. She got vexed. And she started to register her complaint about, oh, you know, she has a fake. You know, imagine she's been living in Guyana for over 106 years. Over 106 years she's been living in Guyana. And her accent is like, hey, and you know, the um, honorable member should not be appearing with any button or, you know, any button or um, any button or anything to represent another political party. Y'all should see my facial expression. Um, um, I'm like, oh, give me a break. The chairman of the Public Accounts Committee, member of parliament, Jermaine Figueroa, said to this lady that, hey, wait a minute, this is a former regional chairman that we're talking, or are you, or something like that, that we're talking about. He's no longer active. He's a private citizen. He's a private citizen. So help me God, where they find these pakus from to put them in government? Where do they find these pakus? Yes, they are pakus. She, instead of focusing on the real issue, she focusing on some guy with a button. Some guy with a button. You know what it reminds me, and I wish I can play this song right now. If you guys are familiar, because, you know, I don't miss a beat, you know. They get a song. Somebody should play this song for, for, um, for this lady. Somebody should play the song for her. Let me see if you guys are up to date with things. The song has something to do with button. <laughs> all for 25 minutes, it was all about button and button and button. It makes me just want to play that song right now for you guys. I know you, I know some of you guys don't know them kind of songs, all right? Now I'm checking the comment section to see if y'all know that song. Wine for my button, wine for my button, for my button, wine for my button, for my button. <laughs> these folks are, these folks are silly, silly bunch of people. Wine for my button, for my button. All afternoon, button, 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 button. Button, 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 button. You know, it's probably in her mind. Point for me, button, for me, button. All right, so the eclipse. Um, I know you guys probably went out, looked at the eclipse. But Guyana got his own eclipse since August 2nd, 2020. This is the eclipse. This is the eclipse, guys. This is what we have. This is the eclipse. Dangerous and vicious eclipse. That's what we we're experiencing in Guyana. Dark, dark, dark days, a dark country under these pakus. Dark country indeed. Dark country. Now let's let's go back to Wine Pun Me Button. Let's go back, Lemon, please. Let's go back to Wine Pun Me Button. Let's go back to Wine Pun Me Button. Right? She is complaining about that member who apparently had some button, maybe the button has to do with AP and UAFC. Who knows? And she's complaining about button, 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 button. But yet Jack Dave sits at his, his office to conduct press conferences talking about government matters. Sometimes he sits at Freedom House to have press conferences, or if you want to call them press conferences, about government business, install government business. Wine Pome Button doesn't complain about those sort of things. She doesn't. They stay quiet. And these people believe that they are, they, they, they come over as though they're so self-righteous 
that they are the only ones who understand democracy, who understand how to run a government and understand how to do things. The biggest crooks, political crooks and vagabonds are these vagabonds in the PPP regime. Can I get an amen from the guys on, in Queens and, and Leffords and, and Liberty and, and all those places? And let me say a shout out to the guys over at Sibyl's Restaurant who might be listening to us. Good night. Big shout out to all of them. These hypocrites in the PPP. Hypocrites. That is what they are. Hypocrites. But button, button, but sorry guys that I'm stuck on this button, button thing, right? Oh my gosh, button. But anyways, how how did you guys find this eclipse thing? I know it is gonna it's gonna be back sometime in 2079. I know some of you uh, you know will be probably about 90 something or whatever. I'll be a hundred or something, I'll still be around. I'll still be around see the next eclipse but it wouldn't be this kind of eclipse in guyana guyana will long long recover from this dark bunch of individuals who are governing and misgoverning that beautiful country misgoverning that beautiful country i don't know i don't know oh i don't know Good night to all of you. What else you guys want me to discuss on this eclipse night? What else do you guys want me to discuss? Not disgust, because we are looking at them, we are disgust. But what do you guys want me to discuss tonight? Look, earlier in the evening, there was something passing through my mind. And I turned and I said, Mark, you are a smart guy. Today happens to be 4824. Okay. I'm just going to wait until um, some of our other regular listeners come in. Today happens to be 4824. Let me do something. 4 plus 8 is. Let me don't do it, man. I, I mess it up. All right, let's get on to some other serious matters. What's happening in your neck of the woods? A lot of people are complaining. Yep, they are complaining about blockouts upon blockouts upon blockouts. Every single day, blockouts upon blockouts upon blockouts. Nobody's, nobody's saying anything about it, you know. Nobody's doing anything about it. People are, some folks are just complaining on Facebook about it. That's it. There's no action on the ground. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. And everybody just going about their business as though it is business as usual. That is all. That is all that's happening in that beautiful country. Meanwhile, you think the people who are going in and making billions of dollars off of you, you think they are complaining about blackout? No, there's no complaint. They don't have time with that. They have big generators. They have every single thing. They utilize their generators and they fly out of the country. They spend their weekend. They come back and they go. That's how That's how the country is running. That's how the country is operating at this time. That is how. I noticed my friend all the way from Canada said, uh, said look, here what's happening. Here what's happening. You know. Uh, GPL and, and the Eclipse, uh, and the people are showing all those sort of things. All those sort of things. Not a, I get a lot of I get a lot of people, and thanks to those people in Canada, they seem the can the Canadian people seem to be onto something. Nobody told me that on the head there um, on the screen they got my name as Emma. S. Benjamin. Nobody, nobody except somebody all the way from Canada. All the way from Canada, but nobody else saw that. Nobody else has time to say, hey, Mark, guess what? That's not your name tonight. That's Emma Sophia Benjamin. But the Canadians are able to see it. 
and the Canadians are able to tell me that quickly. Thank you so much. I appreciate the Canadians are able to tell me that. But nobody else. So Trevor Ben won a case today. And the judge ruled in favor of the union. And um, the judge ruled in favor of the union. And they're basically saying that Trevor Ben and his team should be allowed to use, I mean, to control the union because they have won the elections. And nobody, whether some government official or anybody, no one, no one should be intervening in the elections. And so the judge rebuked the senior counsel. Neil Boston rebuked him for allowing his clients to disregard the results of the court. Shame. Shame. The matter must come to an end. That's according to the judge. It must come to an end. It must come to an end. And so um, the two lawyers who won that case are Senior Counsel Roysdale Ford, Senior Counsel Roysdale Ford and Christopher Thompson. Uh, they are the two lawyers who won the case on behalf of the Guyana Credit Union, Cooperative Credit Union, on behalf of the Guyana Cooperative Credit Union. So congratulations to Trevor Ben and his team. They can now take over the union and put it back on track so that the members of the union can breathe again. They can breathe again. And that is what we want for Guyana. We want Guyana to be able to breathe again. Right now it's stifling. Everyone, everyone is complaining. Every single one is complaining throughout the country. It doesn't matter whether they're PPP supporters or they are coalition, whether they are AFC supporter or they are PNC supporters. Everybody is complaining throughout. If you go Black Bush Polar, they're complaining. You go Caribbean, they're complaining. You go Alice, they're complaining. You go Epsom, Eversham, Brighton, Kildonan, Limlayer, Nurney, they're complaining. You go Wim, you go Lancaster, you go Liverpool, you go Alverston, they are complaining. Bloomfield, Letterkenny. Port Morant, all over Hampshire, Williamsburg, Belvedere, Albion, Firish, they are complaining. Number 19, they are complaining. Court, they are complaining. All over they are complaining. Shitanka, let me see if you guys know where Shitanka is. What part of the Essequib or wherever is Shitanka? Where is Shitanka? Let me see if you guys really know Guyana. Where is Shitanka? I mean, I know uh, it's not uh, classes we're in, but where is Shitanka? And where, while you're at it, where is Little India and where is Little Africa? Shah Narain said Barbies, all right? Barbies could be West Coast Barbies. Um, where? Somebody said Upper Barbies. Uh, no. Nah. Brenda Braffitt said, Barbies, Charlene said Barbies, all y'all saying Barbies, no, no. Barbies could be West Coast Barbies or East Barbies. Lawrence James said Kanji. Kanji, Fred Mason said Kanji, Leland, Leland Usal. There's a Leland, I, mean, I, I saw Leland, Leland Saul, Leland Abre. Aubrey, oh, <laughs> um, Kanji, everybody now saying Kanji, Kanji, Kanji. Carl Miller said upper Barbies. No, everybody now saying Kanji. He's Kanji. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Michael Reed smiling and, and, and making a big one there on Hickin. So, yes, it's uh, as soon as you cross the bridge, you know, when you leave Jack Teo's mansion, right by the head of the bridge, as soon as you cross it, heading further east. Somebody said up, Upper Essequibo. There's no and there's no Shitanka in Upper Essequibo. Absolutely not. All right, guys. So what else you want us to talk about? We talk about the plane. 
We talk about the blockout. We talk about uh, these um, all white, all white, all white dance boat ride. All sort of things we spoke about. What else you guys want us to talk about tonight? Can we talk about the black box? The helicopter black box. It's been months now. Why do you guys uh, believe? Why do you guys believe that this black box is no longer an issue for the PVP regime? Jack Deer no longer talks about it at his press conference. Gil Tashira is no longer concerned about it. Uh, Irfan Ali no longer cares about the relatives of these um, um, military officers who lost their lives. They're not concerned about it. Obviously, they are rushing to cover up the situation. So there are two things they're not talking about. They're not talking about the black box. Neither are they talking about one other thing. Let me see if you guys, there's so many things they want to cover up or they have covered up. Um, neither are they talking about the, the black box and that boat. As Bertie Chancellor usually say, as Bertie Chancellor usually say, say back in the days at GBC, when Bertie Chancellor tells the time, oops, I have to show you guys my $10 watch. Among my friend, brother Rickford Burke, he showed you his $10,000 watch. Paul me showing you the $10 watch. But how many times uh, you guys remember Bertie Chancellor when he says the time, 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 the time. The time. It's 36 minutes after 9 o'clock. My name is Mark Benshaw. So um, the fuel boat out in Tobago. Why do you think the PVP regime, you no longer hear anything about that? It is as though there is no connection to Guyana. And the culprit, the culprit, the vagabond, is being covered up as a result of connections to the PPP regime. That is what it's all about. Let's not beat around the bush, guys. That is what it's all about. Don't ask me the name of the individual. Don't ask me that. But the PPP is covering up these things. They are, they are covering up the, the black box, the helicopter crash. They don't want to tell you guys the truth. They're covering up the fuel spill, that, that um, smuggled fuel that was on its way to Guyana. And uh, lots of other things they're covering up because even the international people know that the PPP regime is corrupt. The most corrupt in the region, that's the PPP regime. It's difficult for these foreigners to do business, especially Americans and the Canadians and the British. If you're from some other country, you know where. There's basically, they collect their money and they're okay. They could play a, pay a bribe. Um, we heard from Sue. Sue talked about that all the time. Um, Jack Deal, who was a close friend of Sue, who admitted that Sue was his friend, was his tenant, and all manner of things. So the corruption is rampant. But Jack Deal is running. He's dodging those um, sort of corruption and, and allegations of corruption, corruption and so forth. They're running. They're dodging it. They don't want to face the facts. And so we're seeing in the news also, as I just got a message, uh, uh, government must decide what protection Guyana must have from an oil spill, not the court. And this is Anil Nandala saying that the government of the day must be the one to decide, not the court. These folks, these guys got to go, man. Seriously, they have to go. So... The black box cover-up, the 20 young students out in Madhya that died in that fire, covered up. And Wayne Caesar, you're correct. Wayne is in an audience, in the audience with you guys, um, is talking about Sue covered up. All these things are covered up by the PPP regime. Corruption upon corruption upon corruption. And so far, they're not even... Notice about a week ago, about a week ago, we heard Jack Deere was concerned about a member, a senior member of the Guyana police force,
who is responsible for the crime unit. He's not a crime chief, but he's responsible for the crime unit at the CID headquarters. He was questioned by US law enforcement officers. Question. We don't know what or why he was questioned. We can just assume, mind you, we can just assume what he was questioned about. It could be many things. It could be many things that he was questioned about, but this is not good for the country. It is not good for the Guyana police force to have a member, a senior member of the Guyana police force that is being questioned. And not because somebody is being questioned mean they are guilty of a crime. But the issue is we've got to, we've got to find out why. Because these folks don't just question you just like that. There has to be a reason why he was pulled in for fitness. Whether his visa was revoked or not, I don't know. It is up to them. It is up to him to say whether his visa was pulled or not. Again, I don't know, but these are questions that we need to ask. And we need to get answers. We can't expect answers from the Commissioner of Information, Charles Ramson Sr. He gives nothing, and in my opinion, it appears, mind you, it appears that he does nothing. He sits there and he gets over 1.2, maybe somewhere close about there, $1.2 million salary every month. Probably got his phone bill paid for, his electricity bill, he got security, every single thing off of the taxpayers of Guyana. He is the commissioner of information. It simply means Take, for example, if the opposition needs information and they go and they make that request, he has to give the information. But the sad thing is he gives nothing. He takes everything in terms of taxpayers' monies and he gives nothing. And this is the same Charles Ramson Sr. who jumped out the other day, wrote a long letter complaining that the United Nations committee, human rights committee, didn't make contact with him, as though he is so important that those people have to contact him for information about himself. When he does, the, uh, the agency that he, he runs, when he himself doesn't, doesn't, he doesn't give information. He doesn't. And so he makes his office undemocratic. There is no transparency there at all, but yet he complains. That's what they do. These PPP guys love to complain. They complain. They're like little babies. They complain and complain and complain and complain. That's what they do. And most are, if not all of them, are a bunch of hypocrites. That's who they are. That's what they're about. Now, hey, guess what? I want to talk to you guys about that 5,000 pounds of cocaine found off the shores of Guyana. 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds of cocaine, Shana Ryan. 5,000 pounds of cocaine, boss man. Seafarees, 5,000 pounds of cocaine. I want to talk to you guys about that cocaine. And information that Kanu doesn't want to give you guys and wouldn't give you guys. But let's take a quick break. And this is for those of you who are celebrating your birth anniversary. You know, we love you guys. And you know, we want to say happy birthday. And uh, we will ensure that you guys. Here we go. Happy birthday day to you. All right, again, for those of you who are celebrating your birth anniversary, we love you, we respect you, we appreciate you. 
And I want to tell you guys about that um, that submarine and 5,000 pounds of cocaine. But let me wish you guys happy birthday again. Happy birthday day to you. birthday to you all of you all right so so you guys heard the other day come a little closer turn your volume up especially those guys at border market and big market the stabrook market and and all the other markets and even the, the security guards who are watching this show right now we love you guys the vendors we appreciate you guys and all of you guys in the audience dear in the letter call the comment section yes I see you guys, Michael Reed, Donna Liverpool. Oh, gosh, Francine Cruz. <laughs> I see all of you. So this boat, this boat, this submarine, sorry, 5,000. Notice that the Kanu want you guys to believe that they were part and they were held. Kanu didn't do anything. That's all I got to say. You know, I ain't want to tell y'all. Kanu didn't do anything. But what Kanu's supposed to do, they're not doing. There's only one thing Kanu is supposed to do. They're supposed to hand over some information, but they're not giving up anything. They're not saying anything because, because there is a high possibility that that cocaine, all the cocaine in the submarine, was actually loaded from the Guyana end. All of that cocaine, all of that cocaine, all of that cocaine. Four guys got caught. Four, four, one, two, three, four guys got caught. One of them is a Colombian with connection in Guyana. And Kanu apparently, apparently Kanu may have that information as to who is the connection. But they just don't want to give up the name. That is Kanu for you guys, right? That is Kanu for you guys. Meanwhile, meanwhile, they're going to go after, this is what they're going to go after, these small guys with a couple grams and couple, what you call it, ounces and these sort of things. And the big guys, they don't go after. But that 5,000 pounds of cocaine, that in that submarine, Diana connection. Kanu had nothing to do with the search, nothing to do with the, the find of that, absolutely nothing. But one single thing they had to do, and they still cannot do that up to this day. They still cannot. Jerry Govai and these guys, he's not Kanu, but he's national security advisor to Air Finale. You get a you get a, a submarine and, and taking time for a submarine to be in Guyana, according to information. Then you have these guys from Colombia and other places coming to Guyana, having their big meetings, shipping thousands upon thousands of cocaine out of the country, and they're turning a blind eye on that, a blind eye. But you let little Kumar or little Chamar or little David or Tony get catch with a couple ounces of marijuana or a couple grams of cocaine. Guess what is going to happen to them? They're going to plaster their names and their photographs, and then they're going to send them off to jail. Just a couple ounces or a couple of grams. That's it. But the big fish, the big fish guys in within the Guyanese society, they drive around. Some of them own car dealerships. Some of them get racetrack. All manner of things to disguise their illegal wealth. And who is helping them to do that? PVPC regime. But it's always, you go Cam Street right now. Go Cam Street right now. You're going to see who's there. The little guys. Hey, what are you here for? Oh, man, two ounces or a couple of grams. That's all. That is all they do. They target these young people, 
these small time hostelers with nothing at all. Nothing at all. The other thing that I take umbrage, and all of you should, including, including non-African Guyanese, everyone should take umbrage to this here. Now, when there's a, when there's a, um, what is it? You call that mugshot? They put the person's mugshot up. Since when the TIN number is that important? And then they put the ethnicity of the individual. They put the ethnicity of the individual. Like, for example, let's block, right? So let's see. Sorry about that, guys. Um, they put the ethnicity of, let's say, an Indian brother. They put East Indian. But an African brother, guess what they put? MN, not for Minnesota. MN. It is disrespectful. It should stop with immediate effect. But who's fighting the cause? Who's championing the cause? Who is pushing for it to stop? Who is writing to the Ethnic Relations Commission? Who is writing to the so-called Minister of Home Affairs, calling on them to stop addressing persons of African descent as male Negro? Male Negro. If you guys, and these are the things, these are the things. Thank you, uh, Shaw and others. These are the things. And when you talk about, they get vexed. You guys should be kicking up, um, um, being upset, sorry, about this particular situation. The shadow minister of um, home affairs and others within the opposition should be picking up. And not only just the opposition, others in so-called so civil society and so forth. People in general should be picking this up. The police force should not be addressing persons of African descent as male or female Negro. Male Negro. You know how that looks? You know how it feels? I noticed somebody mentioned Mark Phillips. Now, Mark Phillips is not going to stand up and fight for these things. He's not. Mark Phillips doesn't care about these things. He doesn't. Male Negro. Somebody said tin is trafficking in narcotics. Okay, I got you. Thank you, Calvin. I thought it was tax identification number. Trafficking in narcotics, right? But why put male Negro? It has got to stop. Male Negro. Negro is not a race. It's not an ethnic group. Male Negro. And look who's the head of the Guyana police force. I don't want to say a male Negro. Look who's the head of the Guyana police force. But every time that is what they do. And um, maybe all of us should have a petition. All of us, since who's supposed to be doing these things? They're not really doing nothing. Let me say nothing. They might say it's inconsequential. Uh, forget about it. But all of us should have a petition calling on the acting commissioner of police and the Minister of Home Affairs, he might be um, he might be comfortable with male Negro. The acting commissioner of police may be comfortable with male Negro. One of the PR guys at um, the police, guy the police force, um, Stan Govail, might be comfortable with male Negro too. Because I don't know and I can't understand how these guys feel comfortable. Uh, putting out such a report with MN, male Negro. Maybe Mark Ramutar, one of the other guys there at the PR, is comfortable with male Negro. But it's something that Stan Govaya should actually put a stop to that. Male Negro. Senior member of the Guyana Police Force, Hicken, male Negro. Senior member of the Guyana Police Force, Caesar, male Negro. 
how would they like that? They wouldn't like that. They wouldn't appreciate that. So it has to stop, guys. And from this day on, 8 4 24, we will put a stop to that right here. We will start that campaign right here on 107.1 FM to stop the description of persons of African descent as male Negro or female Negro. It has got to stop. And maybe we can write to the UN right there in Guyana as well, calling on them to make that, uh, take that up as an issue also. But we got to, we just can't call on international organizations to take up our cause as uh, every minute, run to the international. We got to do something too. It's not like we can't run to the international agencies. Yes, but we got to do something too. So again, guys, from tonight, we are going to start a petition. We're going to make it a big issue for the Guyana police force to stop describing people as male Negro or female Negro. It has got to stop. What else can we touch on? Oh, somebody mentioned earlier the school in Linden. How many of you guys remember the school in Linden? They're, re they're preparing for, they're preparing for Linden Tongue Week. All preparations for Linden Tongue Week. Some of them going out, they're pre uh, preparing flyers and all kind of thing. Well, guess who going? Guess who going to perform in Linden? Let me see if you guys know who's going to perform. Michelle Lampkin, how are you? Lily Golivia, how are you? Golivia. Leon Logan, how are you doing? Uh, Jamal Aziz and all of you guys, Annette Cummings, Colin Barnwell, um, Carlos Smith, Dennis Atwell, how are you? Val Valdine, how are you? Renee McKenzie Talbot, how are you? Phil Class, all of you, every single one of you. Uh, Francine Cruz, <laughs> Francine Cruz, Mr. Donkey from me last week. May get it this week. May get it this week. Yeah, so this school in Linden, nobody cares about the school. You're not hearing the officials, them, any, any cry, any concern any longer about the school. I don't even know what it looks like, but for those of you who are in Linden, please send me a photograph tomorrow or tomorrow, yeah, so that we can see what the school looks like. It's over two years, over 300 plus million dollars and nothing about the school, nothing, incomplete. Lyndon, as you guys cannot sit down and take this lightly. How can you? It's important for your kid's future and you're going to sit down and allow these vagabonds in the PBP regime to do this to you and nothing happens. And they feel that come, what is it, Tom Week? They get some big belly guy always flossing his wealth and his big belly by the name of some Ross. <laughs> Rick Ross. <laughs> oh, Ross. Rick Ross uh, going to Guyana and he going down to God. Look, something may have happened, and I'm not wishing anybody bad or whatever, but something may happen and he may postpone it and done. And then Lindeners will get to save their money, save all their money to do something else, something far more productive. Something far more productive than spending your money to go to these shows. But I bet if Charmin Blackburn go to Linden, y'all ain't going, y'all ain't spending nothing but see poor Charmin. They had a guy, they had a guy named Chinese Man, and some Chinese man used to sing. Whoever used to sing with a guy with what's his name again? Chinese man. They get all these singers in Guyana, talented singers, y'all ain't gonna pay money for them. But y'all going and see Rick Ross. What Rick Ross does sing? Tell me what Rick Ross, I could understand born, born a boy or whatever, but even that. The government bringing in born a boy or born a boy for distract y'all, all of y'all, distract y'all. Some of them officials in Linden bringing in Rick Ross, same thing, 
destruction all around. Destruction upon destruction. Baby Skello, yeah. Thank you, Michael. Take Baby Skello to Linda and see how many people are going to see Baby Skello. Nobody can get time with oh Baby Skello. Let me get time with Baby Skello. Let me get time with Charmin Blackman. They want to go. They want to hear, see Rick Ross. All Rick Ross singing is things where we used to sing since little by day. It's when we used to do breakdown. A little bit of daddy, the dead good man, the man go down there. And three quarters of them, Lindeners won't even understand what Rick Ross got to say. Y'all might as well just stay home and done. Stay home in Linden. Stay home in Georgetown because the PVP bring in Borma boy or some Borma somebody. They taking them to, I don't know. Distraction upon distraction upon distraction. And then when y'all done go to these shows, everything done, then y'all gonna come on Facebook and complain. Oh, we get blackout. Oh, we can't get sufficient internet. Oh, the school. Nobody can care about the school any longer in Linden. It's no longer an issue. Oh, the city is lots of garbage, but you're not going to hold your mayors accountable. Well, as you guys heard from the mayor of Georgetown, some of you, I bet you all don't even know his name. Most of you guys don't even know the mayor of Georgetown name. Most of you guys don't even know the deputy mayor of Georgetown name. But a couple of weeks ago, the mayor of Georgetown jumped up and he's going to do research to stop the Qatari Hotel and, and stop them from all manner of things. He's going to do research and he do this and he do that. You know, these guys just like they're pompous. They're thinking and just wasting. Somebody said Monroe. Monroe is not the mayor. You see, I don't even know who's the mayor. Oh, is Alf oh, is oh yeah, Alfred Monroe or whatever. This is that his name, Alf? No, not Monroe, not Monroe, not Monroe. You know, priorities all messed up. Thank you, Miss Cummings. Mentor, Alfred Mentor. When last you guys saw Mentor or heard from Mentor standing up for your rights and standing up for the city? Of Georgetown, the capital city. When you talk the vex, the bombs, rays, and all manner of things. Mentor, does he go out there to represent the vendors? Does he represent residents of Georgetown? Does he? You know, I doubt that happens. I doubt it happens. But when you talk the bombs, rays, they get vex. You're not supposed to talk. Look at the city right now. No proper representation from City Hall and no proper representation from central government. It looks as though City Hall and central government are one, but they're just fooling the people into making it look as though they're not one, but it looks as though they are one. And it appears that they are playing games with you guys. That's how it appears. All right. So uh, what else we can um, talk about? Lily Gulliver is correct. Mentor just talk, talk, talk. Bear talk. Bear talk. They're bluffing the people. People of Georgetown deserve better, man. They deserve better. They deserve better. Let's see here what Vishal is saying. Vishal is saying Flapnu. Well, he means APNU. But he's not going to say that a Papnu, right? PPP. A waste of time, PVP. He's not going to say that. He's not going to admit that. Um, so here's what here's what he's saying. That Apnu brought Bujubantan. That's true. Brought Bujubantan and gave him $40 million. I don't know if that's true. And came on stage to big up Project Khan. Now, that was bad. You don't expect Bujubantan to big up. Um, but if Bujubantan big up somebody who is said to be a criminal, like Barajak Dale, Vishal Prasad would love that. Love that. So Vishal Prasad, while you at it, you're talking about uh, Roger Khan accused of killing uh, many African Guyanese, of course, the Phantom Squad, that's what they were accused of. That's that's true. Under Jack Dale regime, under the PVP regime, the Phantom Squad was allowed to do that. And so they're all part of that. All. So Jack Dio, not just Roger Khan and his group, the Phantom Squad. Jack Dio has to be blamed. Jack Dio, Michelle. Jack Dio. 
got to be blamed. Now, when the coalition brought in Bujabantan and all kind of thing, I thought that, hey, no government should be able to bring in big parties and, and spend all taxpayers' money. If there is a legitimate promoter who has the money to bring in these guys, I would say, good, fair game, fair play. But not when the government is involved spending taxpayers' money. Like what this current, this corrupt PVP regime is doing. Hundreds of millions of your money they're spending for distraction upon distraction. They have been doing that for years. I, I repeat, they have been doing that for so many years. And they continue to do that. The coalition did something, I don't know, with Bujubantan. I was against that. And everybody knows that. I was against that. And then Bujubantan jump up on stage and big up your friend Raja Khan. Me spending no money for go see them kind of show that, you know. Um, I like some of Bujubantan songs, but I'm not really an admirer. I don't follow Bujubantan, but I like some of his songs. But was I surprised when he big up? We got big up, you know. We get other people bigging up Jack Deer, yelling, 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 say nothing but that. Birds of a feather flock together, anyways. All right, so let me see what else we gotta discuss before we go um other than i've i've noticed the ambassadors and the high commissioners are making their wrongs they're meeting members of civil society they're meeting members of political parties all members not just one set they're meeting everybody for a quick photo op a quick little chit chat and they're gone a quick little chit chat and they're gone so they're meeting everybody all around let me take a quick photograph, guys. Come on. And they're just gone. And that's it. I notice Commissioner Cole, who is here. She's watching us. Good night to you, Commissioner Cole. Commissioner Cole met with them too. Commissioner Cole and her group met with them as well. And they take a picture, photograph, and everybody's happy. So the ambassadors and the high commissioners are making their rungs. They met on Friday or Thursday, I believe, with the uh, AFC. They've met with Commissioner Cole and her group, women's group, civil society. Today they met with um, members of the PNC. So they've been meeting people, everybody they're meeting with. Soon they might start meet with talk show hosts too. All right. Hey, guys. I'm out of here. I'll be back tomorrow, same place, same time, right here on 107.1 FM. We started with the eclipse. And we end for tonight with the eclipse. Vagabonds, political vagabonds. That's who they are. That's what they're about. And next elections, these political vagabonds have to be voted out of office. They have to be voted out of office. I repeat, they have to be voted out of office. All right, so I'm out of here again. For those of you who are celebrating your birth anniversary, you know, we're here for you guys and we wish you all the best. But for now, I'm out of here. Thanks all of you in the comment section, you in Guyana, outside of Guyana. God bless you. And again, for those who are celebrating your birthday, happy birth anniversary. So long. Happy birthday day to you.
Hey fans, it's karaoke and oldies night this and every Thursday at Club Twilight Sideline Dam, Buxton. Dance to the magical songs of yesteryear by popular DJs and Cam's Audio. Admission is free. Come out, let's make memories at Club Twilight Sideline Dam, Buxton North. Jacinti Kaldata, Francis C. Vietnam, and since 1965, I become a footer, and I always place my ex next to the cup, and what they are doing today, I can't take it, so I have no more vote to give to PPP anymore, I'm not going to vote anymore in the moon. if they have to lose by one vote, they're losing it by data, I have not. Jesus Christ, if Castle live it double, I don't know what happened. A pound of sugar is three hundred dollars already. Flour, everything gone up, everything just raising. You gotta get about forty thousand dollars for buy good ration. You gotta get three man now, a weekend man, a monthly man, and a and a um fortnight man.